Hi, this is Crystal from DaughtersOfTheCreator.com. Thank you for joining me for today's video blog. It's coming out of my book, Seriously God, which is still available on Amazon. And today we're looking at day 20, uh, page 45, Purity is Priceless. And it's based off the scripture, 1 Timothy 5.22, Keep Yourself Pure. There's something about pure jewelry um, or sound or nature you know, we're drawn to the majesty. I mean, just think about it for those who've been to the mountains or the forest and you've seen um, water um, falls and, and, and just the sound when there's not a big crowd around. You could just hear the birds singing. You could hear the rush of the water. Um, there's in the, in the sound of the wind through the trees, there's like purity there you know, or a beautiful ring that's just, it's, it's beautiful, it's, it's diamond, it's the real thing, it's not fake, it's not cubic zirconia, it's the real thing. It has a certain beauty and, and sparkle and shine about it. And purity is, is beautiful, but how many of us settle for less than pure lives because of the culture that we live in. We make exceptions for what TV shows or movies that we watch. We make exception for what music we listen to. We make exception for um, vulgar language um, that we speak. And uh, we, we make all these decisions that make us hip and cool and fit in with the group. But in God's eyes, when we read the word, we immediately recognize our impurities. We immediately recognize, if I'm gonna be a child of God, I gotta change the way I talk. If I'm gonna be a child of God, I gotta change the type of TV shows and social media that I visit. If, if I'm gonna be a child of God, I gotta watch the way I dress. Am I, am I reflecting modesty? And I'm not saying, no, you all have seen me. I'm not saying we got to wear dresses from the chin up to the toes. I'm not saying that. If that's your thing, hey, God bless you. Um, like some people don't believe you could wear makeup or jewelry and be pure. I'm not of that. I believe you can wear makeup, you can wear jewelry, and you can wear nice um, clothes and still be pure. Um, so purity is more, it's more of a spiritual nature. It's more of what about this glorifies and reflects God. You know, think about Moses. When Moses was around God, face to face, when he showed up with the people, the glory of God shone off him so much he had to put something over his face because people were all freaked out over it. You know, that's what God wants in us. It's like not about what you wear. It's about the glory in God of you shining out. He can't shine out of impurity. He shines out of purity, and people know it, and I know I've seen it in the workplace. I don't come in, Jesus, 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 I come in, and I just shine the light. I am the salt through Jesus Christ, and people sense it, and they know it. You never have to tell them. You ever sit down, open up a Bible. They know you're a follower of Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you to move towards the purity, the priceless purity of living a clean life. Today's prayer, dear Lord, forgive me for my impure ways of thinking, talking, and living. I want to live a pure, clean life in Christ. I pray for your help to do so every day. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Crystal, DaughtersTheCreator.com. Have a pure life today. Bye for now.